Today I am doing a very specific Deborah Harry inspired look. This is a totally 80s look. It's a pink and purple kind of a look. So I'm going to go with Vulnerable and Regal. But I'm also going to need, well, you know what? I'm also going to need a couple of different of my pre precision pencils because she has white in the corner of her eyes and on her waterline. I am going to be putting that and then, of course, black eyeliner like crazy. Okay, so I'm going to get started. I'm going to put the Vulnerable on first. She has this all over her brow bone. So I am going to start by doing that. And it's like all the way up to her eyebrows. So I'm going to be putting a lot of this on. It's hard to see in this really horrible lighting. Okay, for this white part, I'm going to put it about halfway in. About that far in, I should say. I'm going to bring you over here with me because I cannot do this without looking. And it's going to go right up, see, and over. And I won't do the waterline until um, we get closer to the end. You see, so this is what we're going to do. Now let's start putting on the purple. Oh, that already has blue on it. We don't want that. You want to pack on the purple because that is the main color. You really see the pink up here, and there's that stunning white in the corner, purple, and then black in the outer corners, which is totally rad. Dig it. Dig it. I want to do it. So we're doing it. And we want to maintain that white. So I can go further in later if I want to, but I am really trying to keep that line that she has, the border between the purple and the white. You see? I think it looks pretty already. I know, I never thought I'd be like, I'm going to put on pink and purple eyeshadow. No way did I ever think that. And I'm going to bring it around the white, around the top. Okay, so I'm feeling good about the purple. Now let's go in with the black. And I'm not actually going to do black. I'm going to go with a palette four and do triumphant, which is like a navy, but it looks black on. I don't have that really dark, deep matte black that you would really want and it's interesting how she has it it's in the it's in the crease but it, it doesn't appear to be all the way down and that might just be her shape of her eye but it's just enough to deepen it and so I'm just gonna tr start with a tiny little bit I'm gonna go on the side so you can see better See, it looks black. I'm going to follow my line all the way down. And she doesn't have it going into the corner. She stops where that white is, kind of where I just went beyond. So let's do that on the other side. I'm not going to go beyond where the white is. And I'm going to do it in the V a little bit and connect up to that line. I apologize. It's just so hard to do in reverse in this camera. And then I'm going to sweep a little bit down. Oh my God, I'm loving this. Loving it. 
loving it. On the other side, swoop it on down. Okay. Now, eyeliner. The eyeliner is especially heavy on the bottom. So I'm just looking back. Okay, so it looks as though there's a very thin line on the top, but it's heavy on the bottom, which most 80s looks are. I don't know that that helped. So I'm just brushing it along the lashes on the top line. Super lightly. I can barely feel this touching my lash line. But then on the outer corner, I can go all out. Hmm. Almost. Yeah. Wow, I love that. Wow, was that? I love it. Like, I'm yeah. liking putting this look on too. Does that make sense? I'm sure it does to all you the makeup junkies. And just so you know, I didn't practice this beforehand. <laughs> I'm just looking at the photo and trying to figure out what, how it was layered up and how it was probably done. I'm kind of guessing. Okay, let's put that white eyeliner on that she has. It is really heavy on her waterline. Really, really heavy. I mean, it's meant to be seen. <laughs> it's not just some like trick to try to make your eyes look bigger. It's part of the look, which is awesome. I was just so in the mood for something kind of wild today. Um, just to feel transported, um, feel like, not like me. <laughs> I really don't want to feel like me today, to tell you the truth. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's exactly what it looks like. I'm going to sharpen this or something because we want to get the black off. So actually I'm just marking it on an old piece of mail. Get that colored stuff off. On there and then it'll be pure white. If anything, see look at that, that doesn't look right at all. I think it's because it looks so much different than the other one. It looks like in the photo that, so let's see what my eyes look like after I've put makeup in the corner and swept them more to the outer side. Because I think that's going to make a big difference. Okay, so like I said, I am really focusing my fibers on the outer corners. So I already did the one side, I'm doing the other, and I'm straight up just like, don't even care, clumping it up, right? Tips, tips, Bella Rule. And the thing I love about the 3D fiber lashes is that, um, they're lightweight and they don't have that horrible pulling that fake lashes does because of the glue. And these are just light as air. Okay, then she has the pinkest and pointiest little lips. So I am going to take Skittish, one of the pinkest lip stains. I actually think I, it is the very pinkest. And she really has that Cupid's bow exaggerated. So I'm really going to exaggerate it. Oh, that, ooh, 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 what was that? Hmm. 
And in the 80s, the blush like was a contour. So it was like here. Oh my gosh, I'm so 80s right now. That really makes it 80s fabulous. Oops. Yes. I think it would look really nice with any color actually there with white. I like the black and white. I love the exaggerated white waterline. Yeah, I can dig it. So thank you, Debbie Harry, for the inspiration. And thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.